Hello everyone, welcome to Prague. Today I have here for you the new video about the Yamaha Tenler 700, which I'm owner of. I did about 3,800 kilometers already. And today I will talk about the accessories from the Yamaha Genuine offer. The thing is that there is not much uh, offer on the market from the other third party uh, manufacturers so far. So there is not much choices on the market. So I bought a couple of accessories to test it for you and have it, you know, in the real life to understand whether it's good or not. So we have here the kit for hiring the handlebars about one two or one, one, one something centimeters more higher. There is a heated grips original from Yamaha. There is a ready seat. There is this uh, pannier kit or pannier holder. And there is a luggage top case from Yamaha made by Givi or Givi. And then we have here the Akrapovich original slip-on exhaust. Now the question is what from this I would like leave on the bike and what I would probably think about selling and what is very good and what is the good investment and what is not. So first of all you are probably mostly interested in the ready seat and uh, that the manufacturer says that it improves the design and it's uh, very narrow and it improves the handling and abilities in the off-road and for me the main important things or main advantages of this ready seat is that it's significantly higher. I can't tell you how exactly like how much centimeters but and I have 193 centimeters and in the original it was quite okay but then I said then I um, then I bought this seat it was absolutely better it was a way higher motorcycle even and just suddenly when I changing you can see it here when I change when I sit on this ready seat and then when I get back on the original now I feel it's very very you, you sit very very down and, and very bottom and I basically like more the ready seat it's also a little bit more comfortable but probably the main Advantage here is the is the hiring the overall experience of riding the bike and uh, It's more comfortable because on the standard seat It was even uh, after like 100 kilometers you felt it the same as the pillion or, or your passenger but um, But now it's better and I have no problems to ride like 500 kilometers a day But uh, but again like uh, it's nothing like a BMW GS or anything like that or a Super Tenere or anything like that It's still not the comfortable motorcycle uh, like from the seat perspective And if you're really looking for something you can ride like 1000 kilometers and feel like in the luxury I don't know Mercedes car or anything like that You probably need to wait for some other like third-party uh, accessory or the like proper seat but I'm very happy about that. No worries about, no worries at all in my case. From the design point of view of the seat, I, don't, I, I hardly see a difference. So uh, like if, if there is a standard of this one, I don't care. So this is, this is the seat. With the seat, there is an interesting issue because of course, when you put the higher seat, you need, you, suddenly the handlebar is too low for me, for my 193 centimeters. So I bought this kit for about like 60 euros. It's well made. Uh, you don't even see that it is there and, and uh, another advantage of it is that there is a new space uh, for the camera or, or, or iPhone here in the middle which is nice and you can very easily put the GoPro or, or iPhone if you don't want to put it here. Uh, that's nice I would say. Uh, the other one if we stay here sitting on the bike I bought and invested into original uh, accessories like heated grip. Uh, they are quite pricey but they are original, so I'm quite quite okay about it. And th the thing is that they have only they are only 120 centimeters, uh, sorry, 120 millimeters long, so they are not long enough. So there there has to be these extensions, original from Yamaha again, about eight euros or something, which some people might maybe might don't like, but I don't really care actually. I don't see it when I ride or anything. It's not a detail which disturbs me. And um, they have three sort of sections or levels and they they sort of when you turn it on it's already in like 30 seconds or 45 seconds and the third one the most strongest one is actually very strong even in very cold weather so so far i'm very happy about it i plan some trips to ukraine in in uh, october and i'm just planning to ride my the bike as as long as possible as the as the weather it allows so i definitely must for me on this on this travel enduro um well, so we have seed, we have the, the grips and uh, sort of the handlebar setting. The thing is, which probably you are also interested, is the Akrapovich. And um, if I should have some criticism or if I should be negative about something, it's probably the exhaust. Quite expensive right now. There are not much offers. There is the SC project going on on the market soon. But so far, uh, there is not much, uh, much, al much alternatives or any alternative, basically. The Akrapovich, um, well, 
it's lighter, about three kilos or something like that. It, it, it should provide about like three, three horsepower more, three meters of torque more, something like this, which probably you will not feel. Maybe from the bottom, it's a little bit more, you know, stronger, but it's just a cosmetic thing, you know. You probably will not feel it straight away. It's not such a big difference. And um, if you buy it because of the design, it's great. If you, because of the weight reduction, it's great. Power, mwah. and if you buy it because of the sound, you will be probably disappointed because like the original sound of the Yamaha is not bad, it's silent, but it's, it's quite nice. But this is almost the same. It's like maybe 10 or, 10 or 15 percent louder or different, but it's not a big deal. And it's not, if you invest mainly because of the sound, this is probably not the way. I don't know if you can probably depends on my microphone settings but you know it's like in, in the original setting you don't hear the bike when you go 100 kilometers per hour or more and, and it, it stays the same with, with this one maybe in the city you will feel it a little bit more a little bit like loud like a stronger sound a little bit more buses you know in it but uh, probably not worth investment of like 800 euros or something but it depends on your on your basically uh, decision because like I like the design I like the way the re reduction is very important for me also there is the DB killer but it's integrated and it's probably quite difficult to uh, put it back put it out of the bike so and you probably lose the warranty so that's that's another issue so let's see what the other manufacturers will bring us in a, in a following months or weeks good thing to mention probably worth mentioning is that the uh, Akrapovic also offers the um, exhaust pipes without a uh, cat, without catalyzator probably, and uh, so some, so some, some sort of a decat kit, which should, be, which should be lighter significantly. It should, should probably bring way better sound in combination to this slip-on uh, muffler, and also better performance significantly, which would be nice. I'm thinking to, bu to buy it actually, but then there is another problem occurs, and that's you have to integrate, like bring a new map to the ignition, and uh, so, Probably, and I don't know if this is a, if this is a, on, on the market right now. So, I will probably uh, follow this situation, and I might buy it. I might buy it in, in the next couple of weeks, and then I'll bring you a new update. Speaking of weight of the motorcycle, I'm happy to lose about three kilos on the bike. But then we have another construction here, which is the pannier holder uh, or, or the luggage holder, which is very robust. It's quite heavy, optically heavy. Um, it brings you loads of like versatility and practical advantages in, when you you know have the for example when you want to put the bike into the car or there there are the holders for the passenger which is nice but overall I like how the bike is uh, is um, narrow and nimble and light white you know and suddenly this doesn't look nice to me but I'm getting used to it because it's very very practical so I I'm not finished with the you know sort of uh, deciding what sort of uh, what sort of uh, pannier situation I will choose. I still don't know what sort of luggage, whether it should be like 50 liters bag or this one or the side, side, side bags, I don't know. But this one I'm not testing right now. It's very practical. This is the quite pricey Yamaha made by Givi uh, luggage or top box with 42 liters and you can integrate it for a sort of, uh, you can use the same key on it, which is great. And it's very like easy to use and you can put it loads and loads of stuff in there you don't know about it of course the center of gravity is then changed and it affects the ride quite a lot but that's always an issue so far i'm very happy about it it's like very practical the design is like in the class of top boxes it's okay but then uh, definitely the tenere looks better without it and um and um, it's not my final sort of uh, solution so i'll probably bring some with some other options in the future. The last thing I don't have on the motorcycle is any, any sort of engine protectors and as you probably saw in my off-road review you can you can use you can watch it click just click here in the corner. There are some you know <laughs> some crashes sometimes so I'm thinking about ones but the Yamaha ones feels to me again a little bit too too heavy and like too visible and I'm waiting for some other sort of company which solves this problem. And uh, Outback Motortech, I think, the company from Netherlands, I think they, are, they have something in the development, probably also the Turatec or SW Motec, so I will definitely follow this situation. 
and watch it carefully. And uh, as, far, as far as it'll be something available on the market, I'll definitely test it out. So let me know what you think about this setting and let me definitely know what you are planning with your 10 array or what would you do if you have one. And if you ever find any interesting product for the 10 array, just let me know and I'll be happy to test it out. Thank you very much for watching and can't wait to see you again on the other videos.